Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about my trip to Goa. I had taken my flight from Delhi. I went there in late January. Tickets were so cheap, around three thousand to four thousand marks for one side. And uh, I personally had some work in Mumbai as well, so I had taken my flight to Delhi, to Goa, then Mumbai. But overall, it was nine uh, to ten k for me. It was a great deal. You can easily check the pricing by browsing the website and use the coupons available over there. If you talk about commute in Goa, hire a scooter or a car depends. I took two wheeler that will cost you around three hundred to four hundred rupees. They will provide you one liter petrol, and yes, driving license is important. Do check all the basic things like brake, lights, number plate. Do wear a helmet as well. Otherwise, police over there can give you an unnecessary problems. Overall, commute is easy. Just open your maps and take a ride. Beaches also are there nearby. Roads are pretty good to ride. Uh, they are very good maintained by the government over there. Uh, basically, in North Goa, if I talk about the beaches, are pretty crowdy. A lot of sharks. And in South Goa, there are not much crowd, but bit of silence. Water activity will be there on almost every beaches, but if the tides are high, authority will close down all the activities. And if you can find pretty good hotels nearby the beaches, if you want to live in hostel, cottages, every option is available in approximately of one kilometer of beaches. If I talk about stay, you can find hostels, hotels. Beach houses, according to your choice, dorm can be available from starting three fifty rupees per bed, or you can find a B and B. Some of the beach houses are pretty good over there. Normal hotel can cost you around eight hundred to thousand bucks. I personally stayed in Stonewood Riverfront, a bit far from beach, but that would be around three kilometer in South Goa. It was a great cottage nearby the river, silent place, especially for those who prefer. We'll give a link in the description box. If we talk about food, I had uh, usually taken my breakfast in hotels. So the people who are vegetarian, they will also be having choices, but yet again limited. People who eats non-veg, it's a Disneyland for you. Try their Goan dishes with coconut oil, the fish, the prawn curry, the crab. They are all yummy. When you're on the beach, try to having it. Uh, from shacks, they will provide you an authentic taste with authentic serving. With beers, a typical Goa tradition. When it comes to drink, you can find your own places, right? Uh, try to have it from the local shops rather than having from the hotel or the shacks. I will wow. suggest a local What's shop that, that will, pro you know, probably be very cheap. You can, uh, you know, if I talk about. Uh, the churches you can also visit churches right and your but you are not allowed to take a photography inside the church they have some specific timings as well shopping in goa great deals for boys and girls both local shops but do bargain a lot nightlife of goa are pretty good but before moving to nightlife you also need to understand the beauty of the goa the roads the sunset you can also visit the sunset um, in beach and nightlife yes tito's lane is very famous in nightlife for couples they will charge you around 2600 for stack 2100 with drinks inclusive i will provide you all the details in the description box if you like my video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates Thank you.